Hey horror fans, welcome back to Room 237, coming at you with another uh, review from the Golden Age of Horror. And this time I'm doing Black Friday. Once again, part of this Karloff Lugosi 4-pack. Now, Black Friday came out in 1940. Um, horror was definitely changing at that time. Monsters were... Monster movies were becoming more of the excuse me, like extended universe. Some of them were even becoming comedies at that point. And you know, especially uh, a Lugosi, you know, his his career was starting to go down. Karloff was still doing well. And you know, even the way this movie's built, you know, Karloff, Lugosi, they're both on the cover. But really, Lugosi's really only in, like, one or two scenes. And they don't have a scene, like, they don't share screen time together. So it's just kind of weird. Um, it, and they really make it look like a straightforward kind of horror film. It's more, it's more along the lines of, I don't want to say noir, but definitely crime, gangster... Kind of, it's almost like a Twilight Zone episode, which predates Twilight Zone by 19 years. But, you know, like a Twilight Zone dealing with, like, 40s gangsters. Because the story, well, um, Karloff is this surgeon, or this doctor. It opens up with him, he's in prison, he's on his way to being executed. And he gives his journal to this one journalist who wrote a nice article about him and sort of from the witness booth of um, the execution room he's reading the diary and we're seeing the story unfold um, and pretty much um, Stanley Ridges is this he's a professor of English and he's Boris Karloff's best friend. He he's run down in the road one day by these by this gang um, escaping from a bank robbery. And <clears throat> one of the gang members dies, and he is in rough shape. So Karloff sees that the only way to save him is to take the gangster's brain out of him, put it into Stanley Ridges his best friend which he does but then he starts to retain some of the gangsters um, uh, memories which when Karloff realizes that he stashed five hundred thousand dollars from this robbery somewhere he sort of starts to let go of his best friend and tries to bring the gangster out in him so that he can get it and yeah some of it's a little I don't want to say hokey but you know like when he changes you know he's got gray hair and glasses it's like they do like this crossfade he'll like go, run his hands through his hair and it's like dark and he doesn't need glasses he looks younger <clears throat> Uh, Bela Lugosi is just uh, a member of the gang who is in cahoots with the real gangster's um, you know, wife or girlfriend or whatever. And you pretty much just get all these circles of betrayal and all leading up to the end, which is kind of depressing because... You know, the the ending it it tries to end a little on a poetic note. Um, it was really late when I was watching this, so I was kind of falling asleep. It, and it's not because it's boring; it's definitely not my favorite of this bunch at all. I still haven't seen the Invisible Ray, but 
you know, the Black Cat and the Raven are far superior films than Black Friday. It's not to say it's a bad movie. But I was reading uh, this one review. Uh, I think it was called Diabolique Magazine or dot com or whatever. And the reviewer said something to the effect of how, you know, um, Stanley Ridges and Boris Karloff are playing characters that they should be playing the opposite. Which I agree. I mean, especially looking at how Karloff handled his character in, in The Raven, which I really enjoyed. You know, I, I would have liked to see Karloff be the... Um, in the English professor, you know, dual personality with the, the gangster and sort of being used and toted around. And Stanley Ridges, I'm not super familiar with him as an actor, but uh, I would have bought him as the doctor. And uh, uh, Lugosi was just so underused that it's almost pointless he was in this movie like just a couple scenes and they're not even not even like super like big acting scenes it's just he's there so like that same review was saying like Bridges and Karloff should have swapped roles and Lugosi could have been played by anybody which is true he could have been played by anybody else in the movie the, the only thing about him is that, yeah, it's a Bela Lugosi. But he's still very underused. Um, other than that, there's not really too much to say about it. I mean, I know it's still a popular film amongst, like, horror fans of this era, especially of these two guys. You know, it takes... I know originally it was supposed to be called Friday the 13th, but at the last minute, for whatever reason, I don't remember, they changed it to Black Friday. And then I was thinking, like, well, what would Friday the 13th have been called if, if they called it first? But then I was thinking, just with the Black Cat and the Raven alone, how many fucking movies that are unrelated have those same titles. It wouldn't have fucking mattered. But yeah. Black Friday. Uh, I'm, you do get good... Good moments by Karloff. I mean... You know, like... At, at the very end, when he has to shoot his friend... You know, he... You know, he realizes that... It had to be done. And... I... I Karloff is, you know, at moments he is kind of a good villain, if there is a villain. Which, you know, I think you're supposed to... I think they try to show the gangsters being the villain, but Karloff is, you know, really the villain. You know... <clears throat> even when um, this other character is telling him what, like, his daughter... And I'm like he was your best friend, you just threw a brain in him, completely ended who he was just so you could find money. And there's a couple of humorous scenes with the the bellhop, like comes in and saying like, "Oh, I remember this gangster. He used to have us knock on the door a certain way." That was like when he's first started because um. The whole thing is Karloff takes uh, Ridgeway, or Ridges, excuse me, to New York from where they are because that's where his gang operated. And he's just trying to set everything in motion so that everything clicks. And I think it's actually when he sees his old girlfriend that it all clicks and he becomes the gangster. But yeah, I mean, Black Friday, 1940. Definitely not my favorite of the bunch. I, I can't recommend it as highly as Raven and Black Cat, especially the Raven. But 
you know, if, if you're a Karloff fan, if you're a Lugosi fan, it wouldn't even matter. Uh, you would literally be watching it for maybe five minutes. If you're a Karloff film or an era film, Karloff fan or an era fan, check it out. But yeah, definitely, definitely not as good as these two, in my opinion. Black Friday, 1940. Thank you for watching.